Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout for a Story Wall. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, today, we're going to be continuing on with our Fourville quest lines. Uh, I think we need to help two more people, but we do need to rec uh, actually get back to Fourville. Uh, that's what we're going to be working on today uh, and kind of exploring anything else along the way. Uh, we'll see if we're going to... Well, there's, there's a few things over in that direction. I think we're going to just kind of leave those be for right now and uh, they'll be good for another time uh, we were in the Manhattan Project last uh, the last episode which was kind of an interesting uh, location we found some other interesting locations uh, as well like a custom tower or something like that uh, don't know what that is still but yeah it's this right here custom house tower now we couldn't do anything with it I'm assuming at some point in time we can go in there uh, for Maybe a quest? I'm not a quite 100 percent sure. Uh, but we're gonna be what we're gonna do here is we do need to make our way to a location so we can fast travel. I don't think there's any anything that's really close by here. I mean, no. So what do why don't we do is we're gonna go back up to Bunker Hill. We'll place a marker. Uh, if there's anything along the way that we haven't kind of explored, we will. But. The other thing that I want to do is I want to take a second uh, at some point in time and run back and look and see if we can't get any uh, additional ammo or modify our current weapon, this uh, this weapon right here, and add maybe a different ammo type. Uh, we also need to dump off a lot of gear because we are we are full. Everybody's full. So maybe that's what we're going to do first. Instead of fast traveling. Oh, here we go. Yes, lots of things are useful. Uh, the hunting rifle is probably a 308. It's probably going to put us over the edge. No. Can't leave the free stuff behind. Oh, there's a Brahmin. Who killed the Brahmin? Oh, jeez. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> I think that was you. But yeah, we're going to probably change that a little bit. Um, go this way. Because the, the 308s, it probably is the highest damage. But we just are not getting enough... Um, probably not going to grab whatever's on these bloat flies, but for some reason the bloat fly stuff just goes away. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, we, the explodingness of the the ammunition is great. Um, we've kind of explored all this place, but having the lack of ammo really sucks. Is it possible to have exploding rounds with, uh, say? Uh, like fusion rounds. I don't think it's possible. It doesn't sound... I mean, it sounds like it should be ballistic only. Oh, we can always try it. I'm looking for anything... Any ammo. <laughs> as we as we go through here. Well, there's a couple places over here. Uh, that's kind of in the wrong direction. Let's uh, let's keep focused here. Okay. There's yeah, that's right. I was like, how do we get across here? Do I need to get over the overpass? No, there's a there's a bridge right here. Who are we dealing with on the bridge? Are these gunners? No. Who? Who are you? Caravanners? Excuse me. Oh, stash. Huh? Yeah. Oh, we met them before, Simon. Lex, I think we met them before. I could be wrong.
Ah, Bunker Hill. We've made it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to fast travel to Sanctuary first. That way we can kind of clean up our inventory and then we'll move on from that. 100% happiness. That's a good thing, right? Let's go, let's go uh, clean up our inventory. Oh, home sweet home. All right, let's get some food. We'll get some water. We'll also empty our... All our junk. Uh, we should probably get rid of some of our food too. <laughs> uh, yeah, all our just meat. We don't need to be hanging on to them. Enlarged gourd, no, we don't need that. Glowing, no. Dirty water, we don't need it. We only need like a few of these. Yeah, there's teas we can keep. Uh, what are we doing in terms of stem packs? We don't need 50. <laughs> we'll leave some of them home. Blood packs. Stealth boy we can get rid of. Okay, I'm just doing like a really, really quick cleanup. What do we have? 444? That's pretty decent. Uh, we need to get rid of ammo. We'll have to figure out what ammo that we can take along with us. Or what we should. Uh, we'll just drop that fusion core. Uh, we don't need any more gamma rounds because that was that was for our uh, hideout, if you guys remember that correctly. it's uh, It sucks that we can't use that anymore. I, I can't wait until that mod comes back. But right now... It's, uh, it's not looking good. And that, and we don't need that many on her. What else do we have? Wait, did she have Pikmin's calling card? Wait, how'd you pick that up? I don't remember giving that to her. Maybe I did accidentally. I, I don't remember. Uh, let's get... Oh, was there not a backpack? I think there's a backpack that we need to upgrade. Oh yeah, we need that off there too. Uh, we have a lot to do. Hey, work it. Lots and lots to do. Clean all that up. I don't know if you... You need the flamer fuel, I think. And we'll leave some fusion cores on there. There we go. Get rid of that. Oh, and you have a bunch of apparel. <laughs> I don't I don't remember putting that on there, but I'll grab all those. You don't need any weapons. You know, we could we could just give Ada you know some weapons just to kind of carry. And uh, we could always switch out if we need to. Be a bad idea, right? Okay. Mini nukes. We don't need those. Plasma cartridges, yes. Railroad, no. Gyro jet, we still haven't found yet. And then... How many should we carry of the, the fusion cores? Like, I, I, feel, I feel like having, like, ten of them feels safe, but I don't think we need ten. Because our other characters have them and they last very long time. So why don't we go down to like four? Maybe? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, ammo we already took care of. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to get rid of all of these. And then we need to look at the backpacks and see which one. I think it's the gunner. Yeah, it's the gun backpack that we need to upgrade all the way. Or see what we can do about upgrading all the way. Because that's like, yeah, 85? What do we currently have? Uh, we have 85, but this is like the base, I think. I really like the way that this one looks, though, compared to the gunner. But I'll take the extra carrying capacity. If I can. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we have the power armor. Oh, no. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Is it going to show which one I... <laughs> one of my armor pieces. I don't even know which one it is. Okay, let's be careful here. Uh, we have left arm, left... Uh, actually, no, it's probably better just to go out of this. Go to our... No, um... Inventory. Oh, we probably can't do it in our power armor, can we? Probably not a big idea, or a big deal. We, we Actually, we should probably just have an outfit. If we're going to be in power armor, it really doesn't matter what we have. Um, what we're wearing. But, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, left arm, left leg. Where's our right arm and right leg? Did I not have... Um... Would that be under here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me... Uh, it's definitely going to be any kind of legendary, so that's going to make life a little bit easier to find out. It's going to be probably a right leg. Not... Let's see, left arm and left leg. So we're missing right arm and right leg. I feel like this isn't it, but... Oh, it was a dreadnought, wasn't it? No. What is this? Increase energy damage? Oh, no, that's probably not it. What do you guys think I should do with uh, my gear? Like, since we're pretty much power armor, what do you think I should take? Should I, like, get rid of the armor altogether so we have more carrying capacity? Mm, right arm. That seems like a pretty decent thing to have. And right leg. Increase movement by 10%. Okay, we'll, we'll just, we'll do it for right now. Um, yeah, that kind of sucked that I actually accidentally did that, but it looks like we were already kind of messed up. So we need to equip, uh, equip, equip, equip. Can't do it in power armor. We need to get out to sleep anyway, so. So we, oh, and also to modify things. So. Oh. Hold on. So this. So our right arm. Oh, right here. Right bracer. Okay. I can deal with that. There, we can put that away. Okay. First off, let's go ahead and go to our weapons workbench. And, oh, yeah. Forgot that we had, we didn't clear up our weapons yet. Weapons. I'm just hoping I don't accidentally get rid of one that we're using. No, we're good. I'm going to get rid of those. Okay. We're good now. All right. The Arc W17. Now, we're looking in terms of the ammunition, ammunition conversion. Now, the next... Like going with 45... I think we have a decent amount of 45. It does bring our damage down, our DPS by like, yeah, 179. That's actually quite a bit. I think with the lack of 308, I think I might do it. Do we have, I'm, I just want to double check. Do we have any 308s? No. No, we're like 
literally out. We have 45. We have a million of them. <laughs> so there's no point in not switching over to 45 because we have so much. Let's just do it. Switch it over. And then we'll go ahead and grab our ammo and then we'll drop our 308. It's probably going to be, what, it's less? Yeah, it's not going to be as heavy either. So I can have twice as much. So let's just say I carry around a thousand. Yeah, it doesn't weigh much. I could probably carry more than that, but a thousand is. Uh, I wish they would tell me how much it weighed, like total. Oh, it does. Uh, oh, that's value to weight. Never mind. I mean, it doesn't really weigh much, so why don't we grab, like, another thousand? And then, then I never have to worry about any kind of ammo for a while. Okay, that should be good. And the plasma cartridge. What weapon are we using for plasma? Does this use plasma? No, we don't need plasma cartridge. Fusion. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, next thing would be armor, and we're going to upgrade our uh, backpack, which... Oh, I don't see in here. Did I, did I accidentally put it away? No, the gunner back... Oh, can I not modify this? It says ammo. Huh? Why can't I? This one shows up, but the other one doesn't. Is this is it because of this workbench? Okay, hold on. Let's uh let's actually try something here. If we apply it, yeah, we're carrying too much. Does it show up now? No, it just does not show up at all. Interesting. Okay, well... There goes my ideas. <laughs> Let's just put our regular backpack on. We'll throw our gloves on so that we're back to normal. Shoot! Okay. We can, we can do this. I like the backpack anyhow, so it's not such a huge loss. It's just that it kind of sucks that we can't upgrade... Uh, the other one, so we have more carrying capacity, because that's it's always the super, super, super struggle. Let's go ahead and pull the this uh, legendary off here, and we'll place that legendary on somewhere else. Does this tell us what? Oh, two lock. We'll do it on this one. But it's VATS enhanced? Oh. No, get rid of the lock. Almost unbreakable. And that's a leg. You know, we should really have that on the chest piece. Or no, whatever has the lowest amount. The helmet and the arms. Let's redo this a little bit, because that... The helmet seems... Doesn't matter, the helmet. So this is... It's called Powered. Okay, and then we're... Gonna back out of this menu. Thank you, Ada, for... St <laughs> stepping right in front of here. Uh, oh, Powered. And then we'll go back to... Not Tessa. The helmet, and then we'll... We'll do the quadruple... Durability. There are 635. If there's a better placement, you guys let me know down in the comments. Like where I should place that. Is it is it better if it's like on the tur torso or something? I mean, that would give us insane. Like we'd never have to worry about breaking at all, but... Uh, let's see here. We gotta eat. And then we're gonna sleep.
properly fed. Oh, time to sleep. Old guns completed. What was old guns again? <laughs> Don't remember. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. We're going to sleep until tomorrow morning. Hopefully. All right. You know, I should probably have cleaned up my... My rads. Oh, you know what I should do? All right, hold on. I want to do something. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Go to transfer. How do you clear search results? Like, I have something tagged. Like, how do I clear the tagged something or other? Because yeah. this keeps on glowing. What am I sick from? Insomnia. No. No. Uh, medicine. Antibiotics. We're going to be thirsty. And then let's go ahead and do a rat away. And then let's go ahead and eat something that's going to increase our... We have a lot of mutton chops. Oh, we'll just eat our, our perfectly preserved pie, or, nah. If the breeze underwater, we'll have to keep that just in case we need to use that. Will that give me enough? Or can I, like, drink myself healthy? <laughs> I think you can. Is this saying that I'm hungry? Yeah, I'm hung oh my goodness. There. Okay. We should be we should be good. I hope. Uh power armor is good. Let's get into that. We're all We slept. We're good to go. Everybody's everybody's inventory's cleaned up. We got some new ammo type for our gun. Beautiful. Power armor is redone. What do we have on uh, 386? And we have a total of 617 for carrying capacity, which is nice. All right. I'm going to drop a save here, and then we're going to fast travel and go back up to Forestville so we can continue on with our quest line here. And we're just going to drop in here at Coastal Cottage. Um. Oh, my goodness. We're hungry and thirsty again. Again, is there any way that we slow down the meters? Uh, vegetable soup. There we go. What am I? Oh, suppressed immune. Okay, we can we can deal with that. We're heading uh, Fourville, where Salem. Wait, did I? I went to the wrong place, didn't I? No, four bills right here. <laughs> place marker. I'm like, I knew where I'm going. I just turned around. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. You know, the other thing that I kind of wish, and I I know this would be stupid, overly power, you know, overpowered mod, uh, but like in Fallout 76, you could you could have multiple different specials or um yeah what do you call them I, I, I'm mind blank right now but where you can actually have like three I think I don't know if the max is three or four Orville here we are Okay. Do we we don't I don't think we have a quest in here at all. But we need to help someone else. Oh, what about you, Betty? Hey there. hey there. Are you new in town? Welcome to my shop. You'll find everything you need here. 
weapons, ammo, meds, junk. We've uh, got a pretty good Geiger counter. Do uh, do you have a Geiger counter? What what is what is she? What? Is she acting weird? I thought she's on like on chems or something. I have a Geiger counter built into my pit boy. Oh, all right. I suppose you won't be needing one for me then. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we could say no. Sure. It makes you feel Take better. I'm sure I've got something you need. All right, what do you got? What do you got? You got a lot of things. Oh, you got some supplies too, military folders. What do you have for ammo? Oh, you got 308. Not very many, but you do have two. We'll take those. Uh, we know that you have 45 rounds. We'll leave there for now. What do you have for weapons? Anything? Weapons, I said. Anything cool? No. You have a detonator. I don't know what we can use the detonator with. We have to figure that out. All right. We'll go with that. Thank you, Betty. Uh, is, do you have hey any? There. Can I help you with anything? Are you looking to buy? Interested in that Geiger counter I mentioned? Or maybe you have one already? Let's just say no, we don't have one. No, I, I don't have a Geiger counter. Oh, that's no problem. Maybe you could buy one. Okay. <laughs> I, I was thinking maybe that would lead us into like some kind of quest or anything, but it does not. Thank you, Betty. Now, we need to find, we need to do two more quests. Try my world famous sweet rolls. Watch out, huh. they're addictive. Hi. What can I do for you, my dear? Well, you've done enough you staying out of trouble don't worry I won't be going anywhere near that Val Nelson ever again all right good to hear do you have anything for me I've saved up a little bit for you here take it oh is she gonna pay me back don't need anything today already dear you take care of yourself so if I come back is she gonna pay me back over time well that's cool I mean, then I don't mind borrowing her the money. Okay, Mike, Lorraine, we got two. I hope Maybe you're keeping out of trouble. I am. Oh, actually, let's hey there. talk to you. I got a lot of fires to put out. You better have a crime to report. Uh, can I actually help you with any of those fires? What's the security like around here? Now you're asking questions I like to answer. Fourville security is in tip-top shape. What I got here is in shambles. But a bit of military discipline whipped him right into shape. <laughs> hmm. You were a soldier? With what army? Ah, uh, this was a long time ago. I lived out west. It was all very boring, really. Just filing work. But it was discipline. You better believe it. Okay. Better memories. Find out about Roscoe's past in the army. You're upset about something. I can tell. You're a smart one, aren't you? Yeah. The army was a hard time for me. It was for everyone. But I don't like to talk about it. Hmm. Okay. Tell me more about this town of yours. Go bother Longbottom. In the museum. If you want to know anything about that. If you've got a security matter, ask away. Otherwise, leave me be. Yep, we're done. I don't have anything to report. Then why are you wasting my time? If you want to chit chat, go talk <laughs> to Sanders. All she does is sit on her ass at that desk all day. Sanders, huh? Okay. Uh, so we did get one called Bitter Memories. Fire guns from someone who knows how to use them. It wants us to do some investigating. Oh, he's got a maybe his his house or something or where he's living or maybe it's the security office Wayne Sanders what is this oh yeah it's his house all right so we gotta dig into his past Ooh. 
He's got some... He's got some heavy... Heavy weapons here. Okay, so we can look at that. We could take this. 44. I thought there was like 45 ammo. No. 308. I gotta take the 308. If we see 308, I mean, at some point in time, I want to switch back over to 308 rounds. Because it does more damage, but... I think we can. I did not mean to do that. Man, this is a good place if you are pretty early on in the game and you hit here and you get some ammo and some some decent selection of guns. I mean, not amazing guns, but... And then his bedroom. All right, let's, uh, let's read into Roscoe's past here. So, welcome Chief Roscoe, my terminal logs, residential profile. So he profiled all the, the residents. My list of residents and visitors to keep an eye on. Nelson, gotta keep a close, close eye on this one. I've seen this kind a thousand times. Got an eye for the weak and the vulnerable. Smart enough to just about keep on the wrong side of the law. Pretty sure that gambling game of his is rigged. Probably is. Can't find anything to prove it. So we actually need to go talk to him. Um, Nelson, maybe we can get our money back? I don't know. Father of four. Can't quite get a read on this one. I'm pretty... I, I get a pretty good sense that he's hiding something, but I'm not quite sure what. As long as he keeps those weirdos in check, got no beef with them. Figures. Oh, that's the guy that we met when we came in. <laughs> he was uh, sitting on the ground. Try to run this one out of town, uh, town more times than I can count. Always run up against the mayor telling me that vagrancy isn't a crime in Forville. Town was founded on refugees. He keeps telling me. Lorraine, sweet, sweet lady. I've seen her hanging around the common room, talking to Nelson a lot. I hate to see her get into tr any trouble. Logan Veneer. This guy's a mercenary, a gun for hire. Still, he seems troubled, then trouble. More troubled than trouble. Pulled into town not so long ago and looked like he had a weight on weight of the world on his shoulders. I can relate. Paul McKenzie. Got a lot of respect for Miss McKenzie. She doesn't take any nonsense. I like that damn Sanders. She got my vote for sure. So he's on the side of her, uh, which is interesting. Kane Sanders. Got no time for the damn mayor. Under him, we let it, let in any riffraff who knocks at the gate. And Katie. So this is us. A new arrival in town recently. One of them Wastelanders explorer types by the looks of them. She was war uh, armed to the hilt, but didn't seem like trouble so far as I can tell. Still, you can never be so sure with strangers. The so crime status, 2087. So there's only four crimes? Petty theft, five, eight, oh no, there's multiple. Uh, desecration of holy site, one drunken disorderly, and raider attack. That's a crime, right? Uh, pretty, uh, petty theft, murder, murder, drunken disorderly, assault, public urination, rough quarter, uh, need to up guard presence. Fourth quarter, petty theft, drunk, verbal abuse, property damage, just wish I could get Nelson on something. That son of a bitch is corrupt as hell. Hmm. Eddie Theft 3 Assault. So he's really out for Nelson. I think we need to s go and check out Nelson. And I, there's nothing else in here unless there's like a notebook something. Maybe we just need to go talk to people about him. It was telling him we need to go in here. But what... What could tell us about <laughs> his time as a soldier? Like, certain weapon? We gotta pick up all the weapons? I mean, we can't do anything with the ones on the wall. Pretty sure I went through... 
everything here. That's that was it. There's no more logs. Is there like a secret hidey hole of something? <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of is that he's got like a hollow tape hidden somewhere. He's got nothing in his bedroom. Yeah, I'm lost for that one. Yeah, it's still telling us to go in there. Let's just talk to the guards once. Hi. I'm not about to give up on Vault 4 opening. I'm going to vote for Mayor Sanders. Okay. So, not everybody's on Mackenzie's hey, side. I don't have time to chat. Hmm. <clears throat> well, howdy there. Pleased to meet ya. Name's Deputy Chief Security Officer Sanders. Oh, maybe they're talking to this Sanders. Call me Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hmm. Tell me more about this town of yours. Why, this is just the best dang town in the Commonwealth, if I do say so myself. I can tell you there's some really, really nice places. You should join one of my settlements, and you I'm pretty sure you'd love it. Tell me more about this vault. I don't really know too much about that. Pa's always trying to find some way to get it open. Thinks it'll help him get reelected as mayor. Hmm. What do you do around here? Well, as deputy chief, I'm in charge of all kinds of things. Pa says I'm real gifted. And <laughs> Roscoe says that I'm just too important to lead the HQ. I think it's safe to say <laughs> that the whole place would fall apart without me. My main work at the moment is dealing with outstanding bounties. Say, I just had a bright idea. Uh -oh. How'd you like to help me out with my work? Oh, geez. Now she's pushing it on us, huh? Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, I'll do it. That's real good news. First one I've got is a real troublemaker. Swung through town a couple months back and did all kinds of damage in the bar. Dirty rascal he was. Mm. Looked like he'd crawled out of the gutter or something. That must be how he got his nickname. Gutter Garfunkel, his name is. If you can deal with him and bring me back some proof... I can pay you the bounty. D deal and how? Kill. Kill. Oh, wow. We are <laughs> laying down. You do any kind of property damage in Fourville, and they're gonna just going to take you out. <laughs> right? Uh, we'll keep this in mind about Roscoe, but um, I guess if we run into him again, we'll try to talk him into telling us. Uh, where is this? Actually, out. It's out the door. He's he's left the scene. Where is? Don't take a chance. Let's see if we can find Nelson. This is the Commons, right? No, it's Bunkhouse. Commons are right here. Commons, are you? Are you? Nope. Just a follower. Okay. Check it out. Nelson. Nelson. Nope. 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 Oh, Maureen. Logan. Rusty. Uh, no one here called Nelson. Okay. Logan. Excuse me. I'm going to be talking hey to you. Hey there, newbie. I don't mean any offense, but I'm not really looking to make a new friend. Oh, nope. No problem. Keep your friendship. <laughs> I'm out of here. I just got here a few days ago, looking for work. Okay. What kind of work are we talking about? I do a lot of things, but I specialize in light mercenary work. Bodyguarding, bounty hunting, things like that. And before you ask, no, I do not do hits. Go to Good Neighbor or the Gunners if you want that shit. Okay. I bet you hear all kinds of gossip. Of course I hear things. But I wouldn't last long in this business if I spilled secrets to strangers in bars. Okay. I might be interested in that. So you're interested in hiring me, are you? The fee Maybe. is 200 caps, up front. 
I have two decades experience under my belt, so I don't negotiate. Here's your money. Why Looks not? Like you just bought yourself a guard. First of all, we should go over some ground rules. In case I hadn't made it clear already, ground rules. we're not friends. I'm your guard. You're my boss. That's all. Secondly, I'm not a murderer. I'll defend you if you're attacked, but I won't take part in random killings. If that's all clear, let's get moving. You're the boss. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. Huh. Nelson? Nelson. No! Where? We got this Logan guy now following us around. I. He seems pretty uh, rough and tumbly, like he can handle himself. Now the question is, do you guys want me to keep Logan with us? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how long he lives. He might might not make it very long. I don't know. Uh, so, where would we find Nelson? Like, you're not Nelson. You're big ears. Tent guard Nelson? Nope. Nope. Here's the four. Okay, why don't we go and see if we can't hunt down this next target. And then we just need to find one more person to help. All right, where, oh, where should we need to go? Of course, it's not anywhere local. It's right here. Actually, that's not too far away. I mean, it's right next to Bunker Hill. Okay, let's let's head on over to the Coastal Cottage. And we'll head up in that direction. He's not going to partake. Logan isn't. He's, he's a... What do you call him, like a semi-pacifist? <laughs> He only is, he only goes in self defense, which I guess I can understand. Um, I mean I just don't agree with his his tactics. I like to uh, shoot first and ask questions later. <laughs> That's the type of person I am, and I think most of you guys would agree. Um, that you probably are as well. <laughs> Anybody that's doing like a sneak build or anything, you're... You're definitely not... Oh, we're going to the wrong... We're going to the wrong thing. We're going right to the... <laughs> where we're supposed to be going. I was like wondering, why is this taking so much longer than usual? Oh Here we go. And we'll get a drink after we fast travel. And we'll head down to Bunker Hill. Holy cow, you gotta be kidding me. We are, we're thirsty, we're hungry, and we're tired. Much fast traveling, I guess. Uh, cup noodle, we'll finish those up first. And now we just need a little bit of water. Okay. We're gonna leave, uh... We're just gonna let, let us be tired. Uh, it is, it is nighttime, isn't it? Which sucks. Not so much for me, but for you guys, it's just... I know, I know it's really kind of hard to see. I always kind of have the flashlight on, even though I can probably see the area pretty easily, but I'm sure you guys have trouble. All right, we're going. Somewhere along one of these houses. This, this house? No. Oh yeah. No, someone on the top floor. Oh. Shit. 
I don't think that killed him. So is this guy a raider then? I didn't notice, but it said drug den. <laughs> I I just clicked on the door thinking I could just come in here. That's not... Am I hearing people just shooting up with chems? That's what I'm hearing. I thought it was a... Rad Roach. Hey! Die, you dumb motherfucker. He had like a rocket launcher that. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. Is that Logan talking to me? <laughs> uh. Lock it. Okay, that's our proof. Oh, Heather, Heather, Heather. Did I just trigger something? No. Oh, Perfect. you know. And I never even thought to look on top of there for any of those. I'm hoping I didn't miss any. I see how it is. Uh, no, I want the head, thank you. I think the rest of the shot should be fine. <laughs> uh, it worked. All right, what do you have legendary on you? Oh, leather legs. You had a bunch of stuff on you. All right. We did what we needed to do. Now we just need to head back. Head back to... Ooh, hold on, let's check this out. Seems kind of interesting. Is this into a building? Oh, locked. Watch, there's like a big explosion at the other end. Yes. Open up the door and... Oh, man, again. Oh, yeah, this is... Ooh, really good loot. Thank you. Okay, we need to head in this direction now. Again, traveling at night. Oh, and now uh, Bunker Hill. Now we're going to be like super overly tired. Once we uh, fast travel again, go back to Fortville. Uh, we could probably find a place in Fortville to sleep. All right. Uh, Fortville is just down the hill here. to keep an eye on our our fusion cores I'm trying to I'm trying to gauge like how how often we go through them and I don't think it's very quick I don't I don't really pay attention too much like I, I think we might have went through one just this episode I could be wrong Security deck, I think, is gonna. We're gonna have to go this direction. Oh, Roscoe. Roscoe, Roscoe, Roscoe. Uh, security is here yep. for you. I'm gonna try to pry, see if we can get a little bit more information from him. Uh, no, but how do I. How do I get into more depth? Tell me more about this vault. Go bother Longbottom in the museum if you wanna know anything about that. If you got a security matter, ask away. Otherwise, leave me be. Hmm. Tell me more about this town of yours. Go bother Longbottom. Okay, so the same thing. If you want to know anything about that. If you got a security matter, ask away. Otherwise, leave me be. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to report. Maybe I'll have to go talk to Longbottom. My time. And, uh, maybe he'll give us a little bit of information. Maybe that's, like, a clue. Uh, okay. Yep. This direction, and right over here. I got the job done. Gunner Garfunkel was flashing that locket round everywhere he went. He seemed mighty proud of it for some reason. Here's your pay. If you want another bounty, you come and ask. Oh, these are just bounties? I wonder how many bounties there are. If you see a crime, report it. Okay. We... Let's go into the museum. I don't think that counts as helping four. Was that a miscellaneous quest? Hold on. Yeah, help out four before... So I need to have... I need to help someone else out. Long button? Long bottom. Can I talk to you? No, don't sit down. Don't sit down. Oh, you sat down. Any word on the game? Uh, no. Oh, man. No, still working on it. Don't worry about it. No rush. Oh, maybe I can help him with the game? Well, I don't remember. I, that must be a miscellaneous quest. No. Okay, so it must be one of these other ones that I have no idea. And I thought it would have been something a little bit sooner... Okay, so we need to find one other person, or two other people to help out. Hmm. Roscoe? Who? I mean, we can go talk to Dr. Huxley. Come on. Maybe the mayor? Possibly. Uh, Nelson. Dave. Chuck Moon. Worker Steve and Worker. No one here appreciates the work we do. Hey there. Not looking to make friends, stranger. Okay. Well. Sorry to bug you. Is there anything I can help you out with, Dr. Yes. Huxley? Do you have work? How are things going? I've been helping Lorraine stay out of trouble. We've been getting to spend a lot of time together, actually. Ooh. <laughs> just just like he wanted. I was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. Actually, yes. Oh. Yes, there is something I could use your help Perfect. With. What I'm going to show you is highly personal. But after what we went through finding Lorraine, I know I can trust you. To be honest, you sure? I'm... Not even sure if what I'm working on is possible. You're pretty much my last resort. No I'm not going to be your test subject. <laughs> he ain't heavy. Meet Hux in his house. All right, look, we, we clear out party. Uh, I don't even know where Hux Huxley lives. Uh, up here? Oh, uh, I got it right. Uh, I think that's what he said, right? He ain't heavy. What's that mean? Alright, talk to Hux. Where you at, bud? Through this door is where I keep my brother. Locked Your away brother? He's a super mutant, like me. Except he's not like me. He's dangerous, and he'd kill anyone he got his hands on. I need your help to cure him. Really? 
Ha. Huh. I promise you there is no cure. I don't think there's a cure. But if he can figure one out, I mean, might as well. Super mutants don't scare me. I'll help you. Thank you so much. I've been trying for so long, but I can't do it on my own. My brother and I were born a long way away. In a vault. Vault 17. Whoa. One day, it was raided by super mutants. They dragged us all outside. Every one of us. Seeing natural light for the first time burned my eyes. They took us to a military base where they turned us into these creatures. Made us fight in an army. When we were defeated, we scattered. My brother and I traveled round the country looking for a cure. Over time, my brother's mental state deteriorated. His aggression was out of control. When we arrived at Fourville, the settlers were able to help me contain him in here. Oh, okay, so people, other, cure, other people know about this. Has worked. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to give him false... I don't want to give him hope. Or, I mean, I don't want to dash his hope. The lost cause? No. Is there really no cure? Is there really no cure? That's the thing. I don't know. There are a few avenues I haven't explored yet. At first, I tried synthesizing the cure using super mutant blood as a base, but that didn't work. I considered behemoth blood might be more potent. Mm. But I've not been able to get my hands on any. Oh, Another that's what you need my help for. <laughs> that creature, Swan. I suspect he was created with the FEV. Any of these possibilities will only work if the sample is fresh. It's no good looking out for an old corpse. I also considered that the Institute may have a cure. Next time you're there, you could keep an eye out for any experiments they were doing with FEV. Please, oh. save my brother. Interesting. Yeah, mutant behemoth blood sample. That's going to be something that we're going to have to do. Dr. Huxley's terminal. Archive files, 2150. Breakfast. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is logs. Bunch of canteen. Spoke to Overseer Re. Need for uh, more medical. Oh, regarding need for more medical supplies last patient today Paul visited mom and dad gave him a hard time hmm. 153 I'm just gonna kind of skin through these because I don't think there's really anything that important and I'll kind of point them out if I do see something strange notice coming from uh, noises coming from the gear room hmm Research log, log one. Try to every blend of H E R V S I could think of. No result. Pump Paul so full of chems. He needs a break. So I'm guessing Paul is his brother. Hired mercs to comb the pre war military bases and labs. No luck. Could try Behemoth Blood. Not sure how I could uh, get that. No merc will. They'll pass the con or take the contract. There it is. Diary. I don't know if I want to read the diary. <laughs> uh, curse these huge fingers can barely type with them. Just deleted all the old uh, the old entries by accident. Have to start all over again. Never mind. Can't change it now. Got to make the best of it. Still at Fourville. Still trying to help Paul. I want to try to do my best trying to read these things because. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of, it's a little difficult. <laughs> I paid, I paid something, a visit. I paid a visit. There you go. I paid a visit to Lorraine's today. Such a lovely woman. So kind. I'm sure she'd be willing to sit and listen to me talk for hours, but I hate to bore her. I'm sure she's going, um, uh, being polite. Entry three, fingers seem to be getting worse, losing fine control. Don't even bother correcting the spelling mistakes these days. Oh, is this like the first one? It is. These new visitors in town thought about uh, thought about asking for such or for help with Paul. 
but never know how strange strangers will react to super mutants. Not quite as much history as back home, but still a lot of bad blood. Can't believe how much debt Lorraine had. I wish she share. Uh, she told me I could have found a way to help her. Only wish I had the courage to tell her how I feel. Maybe another time. Yep. All right. Back outside. So, all right, guys. I am going to end the episode here. We'll continue. Um, we're working on. Uh, next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you're new. Uh, also, don't forget to share us. I keep on forgetting to tell you guys or ask you guys to share me on uh, other kind of uh, social platforms. Really would help the, or really would like the help uh, if you did share me uh, so that we can grow the channel and the community. Also, I do have a Discord if you want to help, uh, or not help, but you just want to be helpful or just chit chat with other community members i have a discord check that out uh also i do have uh, a few ways of supporting me if you want to help support the channel i do have patreon i do have youtube um there's a join button down there as well as i have a uh, new website called flinkerfiregaming.com uh, i hope you guys would check it out i got merchandise over there a location for donations as well as a new membership program so if you guys want to help uh and help support me um i do have a monthly donation over there and uh I, it the the developers of the site actually take a less of a cut than the other companies so i highly recommend if you guys want to support me that's the best way uh but feel free to use any any one of them i'm going to leave them there because i just want to give you guys options so whatever you guys feel safe with um you can go there and help support me um Oh, oh, almost forgot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm recording this at uh, really kind of late at night, so I'm, I'm quite tired. But I do, if you want to help support me, I do have an Amazon affiliate link, which I earn commissions on the sale. So if you are, and there's a lot of <laughs> directing, distracting things. I thought this would be a quiet place for me to do my outro. Uh, if you want to help support me uh, and use the Amazon affiliate link, I do earn a commission on the sales. Uh, Thank you to those that have been using it. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been working. Uh, or I, I've been seeing um, the, the the sales increase. So thank you for those that have been using uh, the link. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, also, you have a Zydax affiliate link if you want to purchase a, a system over there on Zydax. They have laptops as well as desktops. Highly recommend them. Uh, great company. So I highly recommend taking that take a look at that. Guys, I am going to head out for the night. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys next time.